Good evening and welcome to my weekly 10 show. And today I'm talking about getting ourselves out of our comfort zone. Okay, now just released or launched my new turning point challenge this week. So this is relevant to that really um, in terms of the sort of people who I will be helping in that program. The sort of people who, like myself, were stuck. Were stuck in a, 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 a sort of a destructive sort of mindset which holds you back and stops you actually performing to the best of your abilities. And before I go into all of that, I just want to say that... Um, Thank you for the people who have already signed up. Um, I'm still signing up people. It starts next Wednesday. Um, it was going to be Tuesday, but it's now Wednesday. Um, uh, two people have signed up so far. I've got four more places. So if you're interested in signing up, you'll be able to look at the um, information below in the box, in the comments box after this show. So check it out, please, and have a look and see if it's for you or not. So, okay, so my situation, um, which is well documented in other videos, um, was uh, well, I was in a situation where I was I was pretty much in a victim mindset for about a year after I had all my losses and everything else, and it, it's so so destructive. It just keeps you stood still, and it's horrible because all you do is you sit there going round and round in circles, uh, feeling like crap all the time, um, telling yourself that you're no good, that you can't do anything, that you're the victim, that everything's being done towards you. You have a low level of satisfaction. You have no fulfilment in life. Literally nothing seems worthwhile. And because of that, you have a very low energy. You feel like, you know, you can't do anything. So you avoid everything. You know, so even though you might well know that you need help or you want help to get yourself out of that mindset and into something that's much more creative and, po and positive, productive, you will avoid that. And it's normal and natural to be like that. It's, it, it, it's frustrating as well when you're in that situation to feel that way because you know that you want the help. You know that you need the help. And, uh, you know, you see these opportunities pop up and you just ignore them. Or, or you, it's not that you ignore them, you just let them go by because you're too busy thinking, overthinking about it, worrying about it, procrastinating about it, um, telling yourself all sorts of crap that, that doesn't serve you really. And it's, um, it's completely unproductive. So what I want to share with you tonight is a way that we can actually help ourselves move out of that mindset and into something that's going to help you take responsibility, because that's what it is, it's responsibility. Because you won't move forward in life until you take responsibility for your, uh, for your, your own life, for the way you think, for the way you feel. You know, Instead of feeling like you're the victim, that everything's um, being done to you, you, you won't move forward. You'll stay where you are and you'll constantly go round in circles just feeling crap all the time. And that's no way to live. It really isn't. So I know there's plenty of people out there who showed interest who might need or want this help, but then there'll be something in their mind saying, oh, no, I can't do this. I don't. Whatever that reason is, whatever they are telling themselves, it could be a million different things, but... Basically, you lack that engagement. You do not want to put yourself forward, whether it's self-doubt, lack of confidence. There's a million different um, things that could be going on at any one time. So it's difficult. It is difficult to get yourself out of that mindset and into something that's much more productive and really open up to the opportunities that are actually in front of you and presenting themselves to you. And the worst thing about this is, when you're in that mindset is that you do have opportunities, but because you're so focused inward, and you're focused on all the things that are going wrong in life, and you're not focusing on all the things, the potential things that could be going right, you're actually focusing on uh, missing these opportunities. You're letting them go past. And then after that, you sit there and think, well, why is my life so bad? Why can't I change? Why can't anything change? When's life going to change? But guess what? Life won't change. And I've heard this from people as well this week, saying... Um, I just need some more time to come to terms with whatever's going on. But the thing is, the thing is, and I've been there. I've been there. I know I understand it. And it's, it's nothing wrong with that. It's normal behavior. But the thing is, when you're in that mindset and you're telling yourself, I just need more time. I need this. All you're doing is prolonging that, that mindset that's creating nothing. And guess what? Life doesn't get easier. It doesn't suddenly change and it doesn't suddenly become, um, everything just becomes easy and you and all of these wonderful things start happening. It doesn't. You've got to create that yourself. And that all comes from in there. That comes from the way you see life. 
So if you if you are really genuinely interested or want to move forward with your life and get yourself out of some uh, being stuck, and when I say stuck, uh, I mean it, it could be it, when we operate from a, a, um, a lower sort of energy, when we're feeling rubbish all the time it could be either we're looking at ourselves in a victim mindset or you could be angry you could be conflict looking at everything feeling angry all the time frustrated and uh, you know we all do that it's human nature it's not like there's no magic wand which says right you're never going to get frustrated again it doesn't work like that the thing is is when you're aware of what's going on you can actually change how you're thinking you can make things work you can swap a, a, a thought that's not helping you for a thought that does help you that's where the awareness comes in rather than allowing the uh, subconscious mind to just live your um, dictate your life for you, which is what a lot of people tend to do without realizing that that's what's happening. So, what my personal perspective when I was in that victim mindset, it was so draining. It was I was sat there for a year at least. My, my health suffered. I looked awful. I felt crap. I had nothing positive to say about anything. Um, I was just bubbling from being a victim to angry, a victim to angry, victim to angry, frustrated all the time. Nothing ever happened. And if I had stayed in that mindset, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you now. I'd still be in jail, rotting or dead. One of the two. That's the harsh reality of it. But I got to, my light just fell down. I got to a point where I said to myself, enough's enough. And I really had enough of my situation. I knew that there was no magic wand. I knew there was no saviour coming out of the blue who's going to suddenly say, um, you know, help me and do everything for me. So I had to do it myself. And I had to take responsibility for myself. And to do that, you really got to move through those structures, uh, uh, those levels, I should say. So when you're in that victim mindset, when you're sitting there feeling like uh, everything's being done to you, um, you're telling yourself you're not able to do something, you know, the circumstances around you, they, they, I, I, my circumstances are stopping me moving forward. I haven't got enough money. Financially, I, I haven't got enough money. Therefore, I can't move forward. It's a nonsense. I'm sorry, but it is. Because if you really want to move forward with your life, you will find the way. And that's why I set this turning point challenge up. Because it's it works out £10 a session, which is um, anyone can afford. I'm sorry. If you can afford to buy a packet of fags or you can buy a bottle of wine, you can afford to pay £10 a week to help you get a mindset which actually works for you. So getting yourself out of that victim mindset, the first, and it, and it will surprise a few people to say this, the first thing you need to do is get angry. Get very angry at yourself. Get frustrated, annoyed. Say to yourself, I've enough's enough. Beat yourself up a bit. Really get angry with yourself because the next thing that comes after that is you take responsibility. And that's when things start happening. Because when you take responsibility, you start rationalising. You start seeing your situation differently. You start looking at it differently. You don't see it as um, everything's being done to you. You recognise that you're in control of your thoughts and you're in control of your um, feelings and you're also in control of your actions. So once you get there into that stage, that's when you're at your best. You're able to start making things happen. So consider that. Consider that because... The people I want to work with are the people who want to take responsibility. I want to work with people who are ready to move forward with their lives. Ready to start making real change to their lives. And start really pushing themselves forward and creating a life that they actually want to live. Instead of sitting there feeling sorry for themselves all the time. Self-pity, doubt. You've got no confidence when you're like that. You feel crap. And if that's really what you want to live like, then fine. You know, no one, no one's telling you you've got to, uh, you know, change. But I, I, I guarantee no one enjoys living like that. I didn't. I hated it. Passionately. And that's why I do what I do now. Because I work with people to help them move forward. And I can do that. I can help you do that. So if you're interested in doing that, and I mean really doing that, you know, it's not an easy process. It takes work. And it really does take work. You have to work on it every day. Because it's your mindset. It's not something you can wave, wave a magic wand and suddenly you, everything's perfect. It doesn't work like that. You've got to be aware and you've got to be conscious and you've got to be committed to doing this. But if you are ready to do that, then the option, the opportunity is here now for you to do it. And it really is. 
So don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself and then tell yourself that there's no chance of you moving forward in life when you have got an opportunity. And it might not be with me. It might be a million other things. There's other things that, you know, in life. It's, it really is simply about taking, uh, taking responsibility for yourself, for your life, for your thoughts, for your feelings and for your actions. Because ultimately, that's how it all works. Your thoughts, whatever you're thinking at any given time, are creating how you're feeling. So if you're telling yourself, um, I don't know, I'm no good. I'm not capable of success. I'm never going to achieve success. Then guess what? You won't. So, you know, but if on the other hand, you're telling yourself, I can achieve anything I want and I'm capable of doing anything I want. And then you focus on the, the, the things that are, uh, unique to you, the, po the, the the wonderful things that we've all got about us, and your passion, your purpose, all of these things. Focus on the things that really make you feel good about yourself. Get yourself out of this mindset, out of the victim mindset, and get yourself into something much more constructive. So, victim mindset, when you feel like that all the time, get yourself angry. When you get angry and frustrated, beat yourself up for a few days. Really have a go at yourself. That's what I did. And you get to that point where you just say, right, this is my opportunity. This is it. I've had enough of being, doing nothing with my life. And now I want to move forward. And um, like I said, if you want to do that, the Turning Point Challenge is for you. So I'm going to leave all the details in the box at the bottom. And I'm really looking forward to getting it going because... Um, like I said, I've signed up two people already and I, I really want another four people. So um, the time's right. I've got one week till we start and it's going to be great. It's going to be really good. So uh, the sooner we get going, the sooner we can start changing people's lives and they can start changing their lives, I should say. So I hope you're interested in that. And if you are, sign up today or get in touch and I'll have a chat with you and speak to you a bit more about that. So have a great evening and I'll speak to you all next week. Bye-bye.